Number 11 then from the 2006 High Maths Paper 2, an exponential decay equation. Notice the negative. All the information here is A0 stands for the amount of carbon in a living tree. There was a wheel that was found, made of wood, that had 88 of the carbon you would expect to find in a living tree. So does that make it over a thousand years old? Five marks. Now the direct way to do this is just find out from the information here how old is this wheel? Now it may look like there's three unknowns here but only one number to put in but these two are connected. If it says it's got 88% of the carbon it should have that means the amount you've actually got is 88%, 88 over 100, or dress it up a different way, 0.88 of the carbon it should have. Now, realising that gets you the first mark. And then put that into that equation. So you've got 0.88 of the initial amount equals the initial amount times e to the negative 0.000124t. Now there's only one unknown because these amounts, whatever they are, will cancel out. So you end up with this equation. e to the negative 0.000124t equals 0 0.88. Doing that gets the second mark. Now there's two marks for this next line. You don't really need to take logs of both sides when you've got log base n, the natural logarithms, on your calculator. You could just use the inverse here, which is what you should do, and say, well, what's the inverse of exponential? It's log of that base. So negative 0.000124t equals log of, natural log of 0.88, which then gets two marks just by using the inverse function. Get rid of exponential, so on the other side you've got log. And of course you would get marks 3 and 4 for going from there straight to there. If you wanted to be tedious, you could of course say this. Right, I'll do ln of both sides. So ln of e to the negative 0.00124t equals ln of 0 0.88. Taking the log of both sides gets you a mark. And then there's no point saying, oh I know that that's the inverse, so I'll just be left with that, because that's what I did in the first place. Strictly speaking, if I'm doing, going through this particular route, I'd have to say, ah, now the power can pop out of the logarithm. Negative 0.0124t ln of e equals ln of 0 0.88. And of course, ln of e, log base e of e, what power of e is e is equal to 1. So you just end up with 0 0.000124t equals ln of 0 0.80 as before for that fourth mark. If it's base e in this side, then it'll be log base e in the other one. The only time you would really need to take logs of both sides would be when this was some base that you didn't have access to. If it was something like 3 to the power t equals whatever 12. Then I'm not going to write t equals log base 3 of 12, which is perfectly correct, if I haven't got access to log base 3. If, only, if I've only got access to log base 10 or log base e, I'd have to go through the route of, well, take log base whatever, 10 of 3 to the t is log base 10 of 12. Now the t can pop out, and I can divide by that log 3, so log base 10 of 12 over log base 10 of 3. Here you would have to take logs of both sides if you didn't have access to a log of that particular base for the exponential. But here you do. And then it's just, t is going to be ln of 0 0.88 divided by negative 0 0.000124. Press the buttons, not forgetting to use that change of sign and not a subtract there, and you get 1030.914 and so on, and that's in years. Now that would be the fifth mark, except you'll have to answer the question which was, is it over a thousand years old? Well yes, that's more than that. Oops. 1030.9 is greater than a thousand, which means the statement is true. Now you get the final mark. 
Now, you may think, well, couldn't you do that another way round? And that's start off with a thousand years for the time and see what percentage you end up with and compare that percentage to 88%. Well, doing that would certainly get you two of the five marks, but you'd have to show an understanding of what this graph looked like to be able to see whether a number higher or lower than 88 in fact meant an age over or under a thousand. Effectively, you'd have to work out another point in this graph for some other age to show that the one you've got lies between them. Which means you'd have to pick something over a thousand and thirty, because that's where that point would lie in the graph. So you could do this, but it's not recommended. You could say, right, what percentage would I have for a thousand years? Well, A of if I put a thousand in for t, it would be a naught e to the negative 0 0.000124 times a thousand. Now that's just a calculation, you just press the buttons. So you just type all this in, don't forget to put a bracket around that, and you get 0.8833. So that in fact equals 0.8833, I'll just call it 0.883 of a naught. Now doing this so far, putting that in there gets a mark, putting that there, finding 0.883 gets a mark. But now you have to justify whether 0.883, whether 88.3% means it's over or under a thousand. So I should really find a value over a thousand. What percentage would I get for something over a thousand just to show that this percentage, 88, lay in that interval? And unfortunately, you'd have to pick something that it lay inside. You'd have to pick something over a thousand and thirty. So I'd have to do this again for another amount. I'd have to pick something higher. If I didn't even know that, I'd just say, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go much further. I'll go to 1,100. Well, what would that be? That would be e to the blah, 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 0, 0, 0, 1, 2, 4 times 1,100. Put in your calculator. And you get 0 0.872. 0 0.872 of a naught. That would get you a mark. Now you'd have to use this information to quickly sketch what this graph looks like to know whether 88% was more or less than 1,000. So I'd have to put a quick sketch of this graph using that information. When it was 1,000, the percentage was 88.3. When it was 1,100, the percentage was less than that, 87.2, which means the graph goes like this. That would get you a mark. And then finally, having your target of 88 here, you would then make a statement. And that statement would be, at 88%, The age lies between 1,000 and 1,100, which means the claim is true. That's probably more than you thought you would have to do if you did it the other way around. That's a nasty one. That's a tricky one there. Better just do it straightforwardly and find what, per se, what age you've got in the first place.